So OnePlus just launched their latest flagship, the 5T, and people are just asking, what is the actual difference between it and the 5? Now, on first glance, you can definitely tell that the screen is different, but is there anything else? So I figured really fast, I would just run down all the differences between the 5T and the 5. Also, I'm losing my voice a bit, so I apologize if I sound like an old man. So first up, the screen. The new 5T has a 6 inch instead of a 5.5 inch 1080p screen and it's 18 by 9 instead of 16 by 9 bringing it more in line with all of the newer flagships and all of these smaller bezels that we keep seeing which I personally like but it's just the way all phones are basically going to be from now on. Now while it does still have dual cameras on the back, they are in a bit of a different configuration than the OnePlus 5. The OnePlus 5 had a telephoto and a wide angle lens and it used that for its portrait mode and other fun stuff like that. It also let you do um, an optical zoom to a certain point and you wouldn't lose quality. But the new phones actually have two f1.7 aperture lenses that are both the exact same focal length. Um, what OnePlus says they've done is that the 5T now has a secondary camera that is just meant for low light photography. If the lighting in a scene gets below a certain level, it automatically will switch the camera to that other lens in order to take better low light photos. The cool thing about this is that the user doesn't know the difference. They just have better low light photos. The camera app still works the same way as it would regardless of which lens you were using. There's no tapping a button to switch between them, etc. Also, one camera is 16 megapixels and the other is 20. Even though they are the same focal length, uh, they are still using portrait mode. Uh, it's just using software now a little bit more than the 5 was, but it, it does still do it. And they've also improved portrait mode a little bit as well. Another software thing that they added was EIS or electronic image stabilization into the camera so that they could do better 4K video recording and being stabilized as well as more stabilized photos and videos in general, I imagine. Um, but that, since it is a software feature, along with the portrait mode stuff, is all coming to or has already been ported to and brought to the OnePlus 5. So it's not really a difference, but they made a point to point it out. Another thing that I think people will be happy that they didn't change on the 5T over the 5 is the inclusion of a headphone jack. It has USB Type-C, but also a headphone jack and OnePlus kind of mentioned in their demo that they are planning to keep that for as long as possible until USB-C accessories are actually caught up and then at that point maybe they'll consider losing the headphone jack which you know makes a lot of sense. And lastly OnePlus moved the fingerprint sensor from the bottom because of the smaller bezels to the back and it's in a great location it's centered it's about a third of the way down on the back of the phone it's easy to get to and it's super fast um, as OnePlus is kind of known for but they did also add another software feature to the 5T that's not coming to the 5 according to them which is facial unlocking so they can use the front facing camera no crazy hardware trickery uh, I believe but they're gonna then be able to allow you to unlock the phone with your face should, for example, the phone be on the table or you can't reach the fingerprint for some reason, but it's nice that they at least give you both options uh, instead of just forcing you to use one. Now, the thing I did notice though is that actually this feature is available on the 5 right now, but I asked OnePlus for clarification about the difference. The difference is the one on the 5 is actually baked into Android, and the one that they have for the 5T is one that they specifically made themselves. It's more accurate, uh, it's faster, etc., etc. The one thing I think is interesting, uh, and I'm actually kind of curious what you guys think, so let me know in the comments below, but what if you just bought a OnePlus 5? I feel like it's only been maybe five months since the, the 5 came out. Are you annoyed? Like, do you feel crappy about the 5T now coming out and clearly being like a bump over the 5 or you know whatever it was five months ago and it doesn't matter like if you wait for the latest and greatest every time you're gonna be waiting forever like that kind of a thing I've heard people say that but I mean five months isn't a long time but I don't know you guys let me know what you think in the comments below we'd love to hear from you but there you go guys apologies again for my voice being messed up uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video if you did though please thumbs up it or share it or subscribe to the channel all of that is greatly appreciated. And if nothing else, thanks for watching.